So Raiders at Falcons. Raiders are f favored by three points in this game. And a lot of people are like, Raiders should be favored by more. But, okay. Let's look at the two performances last week. And I'll agree. Raiders played a phenomenal game against the Chiefs. Derek Carr looked absolutely amazing against uh, Chiefs defense. And honestly, if he had gotten the ball with a little bit more time, he probably could have won the, same, the game same as Mahomes did. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. They didn't chew the clock the way they should have. I thought that was poor game management when you know Mahomes is on the other side of the field. Uh, so I don't know what happened there. Like, they threw... They didn't run it a lot, in my opinion, near the goal line. That didn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. They needed a touchdown. They were down by four points, obviously, so they needed a touchdown. But, I mean, like, come on. You need uh, that at that point. You need to just take the hit run the ball, chew some clock. Josh Jacobs will probably get in there. Uh, so I thought it was poor play, uh, clock management on John Gruden's part. But still, a phenomenal game by Derek Carr. No one, nothing's going to be able to take that away from him. He had a phenomenal day. I think he's playing right now like a top 10 quarterback in the entire NFL. Phenomenal football player right now. He's playing great football. Now you look at the Falcons, and their performance against the Saints was absolutely pitiful. The Saints were down a starting quarterback. You look at also, they had some significant injuries on defense. Marshawn Lattimore, the starting corner, uh, was out for the game, as well as Sheldon Rankins, who's been out for the past couple of games, the starting defensive tackle for the Saints. So definitely there were some weaknesses that they could have attacked if it was the Falcons, but it's the Falcons, so I mean, they probably did. They didn't really attack them. The defensive line ate Matt Ryan up for the Saints, having Cameron Jordan, Mar uh, Trey Hendrickson, uh, Demario Davis, David Anyamata, they were just eating the guy up inside. Not to mention some also very effective pass rushers like Marcus Davenport, Malcolm Brown, uh, Shy Tuttle, Malcolm Roach. Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting one, but I... Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, so show them... Shit. But... These guys eat the Falcons up alive. Matt Ryan was under constant pressure. And here's the thing. The Raiders do not have a great pass rush. Other than Max Crosby, who's really the only guy that's getting after him, which it seems like Cleveland Farrell was an absolute bust of a draft pick. Uh, they picked him at number four, and it just... Ugh, ugh, ugh. That did not work out well at all. But... Matt Ryan's a great quarterback. And I read this... I got into a little YouTube feud, okay? And some guy was say saying how Deshaun Watson wasn't great and because his team was 4-7. and seven. And I pointed out the fact that, just like Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan and Matt Stafford are perfect examples of great quarterbacks surrounded by horrible teams. Just their teams are absolute garbage. Like, if Matt Stafford or Matt Ryan went to the 49ers, they'd light it up there. But the problem is the Falcons and Lions will never get rid of those quarterbacks just because of how phenomenally good they are. Uh, it's just the only thing that even keeps these teams in ball games, by the way. But the thing is, I feel like Matt Ryan was embarrassed by his performance. He got two interceptions, zero touchdowns. That's an embarrassing performance, and I feel like the Falcons are going to revenge that. They're going to be like, rrr, rrr, I want to win. So I feel like, my opinion, I feel like Falcons are going to pull off the shocker here. Uh, I feel like they were embarrassed by the last performance out. I feel like Derek Carr is going to put up a significant amount of points. I think I still think he's a very good quarterback. But uh, give me Matt Ryan. I really trust Matt Ryan here. Give me Matt Ryan to win this football game.